my second to last area actually was uh, Johor Bahru. That's in West Malaysia, um, at the very southern tip of West Malaysia, right actually next to Singapore actually. Singapore and Johor Bahru are separated by just a, a strait of water. In Johor Bahru was uh, a lot more, there was a much bigger Muslim influence than any of the other areas I had served. And one of the neat things was that when I first got transferred in, um, I found out that just a couple weeks prior to my transfer, the Sultan of the province, uh, who was of course Muslim, you know, Muslims are the majority there, he decided that the traditional Saturday, Sunday weekend is not very fitting for Muslims because their holy day is on a Friday. So he decided he was going to change the weekend for the whole state to be on Friday, Saturday. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's, you know, uh, it's kind of neat to, have, to find out, oh yeah, the Sultan did that a couple weeks ago. And so it's like, okay, um, it caused a little bit of a problem for some of our members because now all of a sudden schools are open on Sunday, you know, um, Sunday through Thursday and, and uh, Friday, Saturday became the new weekend. So for a little bit, they were actually deliberating moving the church services to be on Saturday also, um, you know, just to accommodate this new weekend, you know, and there they was serious talk of getting that approved from the Asia area presidency, but ultimately they took a poll of the members and found that a majority of them would be able to meet in the late afternoon hours on Sunday. So they rescheduled our church meetings to be in the late afternoon um, just because the Sultan had moved the weekend basically. Um, so that was kind of neat. Um, in that area also, I would say that uh, the church, because in Malaysia, again, we can't preach to Muslims. It's against the law. We don't do it. Most of the church members in that Muslim city of Johor Bahru are Christians who have come from East Malaysia for work to find better jobs um, there. And so uh, that was a neat mate place to serve. Very impressive members there. Um, some of them would commute to Singapore for work and would actually work in Singapore. Uh, and that city uh, was was neat also because it was so big. Uh, several million people, I think, in Johor Bahru. And so that was a lot bigger than any of the other cities I had served in in East Malaysia. I loved my time in Johor Bahru. I was only there for six weeks, um, but I did notice, you know, that they had a, the, the cuisine there was also very, very varied. You know, they had Tons of Indian food places, several Western places. You know, uh, we got here KFC. Um, KFC was pretty big there. Also, uh, Pizza Hut. They had a few Pizza Huts. And, uh, you know, on top of that, then you have all of these other cuisines. You've got lots of different Indian cuisines from different parts of India, lots of Chinese food places, uh, Vietnamese food places. So that was one thing I liked about Johor Bahru was all of the different. Uh, foods that they had there. And then, of course, the, the native, the Malay ethnic cuisine is also very good. And you could get a lot of that there um, for cheap. Food's, food's very cheap in Malaysia. Um, missionaries frequently would eat out almost every meal just because the cost of a meal is five or six ringgit. It's about a dollar, dollar and fifty cents over here. Um, so, you know, eating out was very cheap and very tasty. Everyone loves the food there. So, um, you get to eat out almost every meal. <laughs> so that was kind of neat.